Hello and welcome to a Canon R6 tip. Today, how to connect your Canon R6 to your Mac via Wi-Fi. Super useful if you want to shoot tethered to your Mac or you want to download the pictures from your R6 to your Mac. The first thing you need to do is on your Mac, download the EOS utility from the Canon webpage. I've posted a link to the website in the description below. On the website, choose your camera, the R6, to download the appropriate software. After downloading, follow all the steps to install it on your Mac. When you've finished installing it, the most important step is to reboot your Mac. Make sure you reboot before connecting the R6. While your Mac is restarting, let's pick up our R6 to start configuring the Wi-Fi. Enter the main menu and go to the right until you reach the network section or the purple sub-menu. When you've reached it, press on Wi-Fi Bluetooth connection to set up a new connection. Here we're going to press on the second option that says Remote Control EOS Utility. It's the symbol of a computer. If you don't have your Wi-Fi enabled, it's going to tell you to enable it. Press OK. In the next menu, press on Add a device to connect to. After searching for access points, it's going to set up its own Wi-Fi network. If you continue with this option, you'll need your Mac to connect directly to the Wi-Fi of the R6. Given I'm shooting in a studio or at home, what I want is the Mac and the R6 to connect to the Wi-Fi that I already have set up. So I'm going to press on Switch Network. You can skip this if you want to have a direct Mac to R6 connection. After pressing Switch Network, it's going to search for available Wi-Fi networks. Press on your network out of the list. Use the available keyboard to enter the password of your Wi-Fi network. After inserting the password, press OK. Depending on how you have your Wi-Fi set up, these options might change. I leave IP address setting to auto, and given I don't have IPv6, I have this to disable. When it's connected to the Wi-Fi, it's going to say Start Pairing Devices. Let's go back to our Mac, which should have restarted by now. On your Mac, make sure your EOS utility is up and running. It should have an icon on the top. If it is, press OK on your R6. If you're connected to the same Wi-Fi, on your Mac, a pop-up notification will appear saying it found the R6. Press on it. On the window that appears, select the Canon camera that you want to pair to. Confirm the connection on your R6. Now the EOS Utility main window will appear. You can do three things. You can download images to your computer. You can do remote shooting or tethered shooting. And you can set some camera settings like date, time, IPTC information, or copyright information. Let's start by downloading images to your computer. There's two options here. The first one is Start Automatic Download, which allows it to download all images on your R6, or the Select and Download option, which I'm going to click on. Here you'll see a list of all the pictures that are on the SD card of the Canon R6. You can select a couple of them and press Download for them to be downloaded to your Mac. You can choose which folder, and when you press OK, it downloads. Do note that I've found downloading over Wi-Fi even with a strong signal to be extremely, extremely slow. For you to see how slow, I haven't sped up this part of the video. This is actual time of how long it's taking to download the pictures. Much slower than when you're connected with a USB cable. If you want to connect via USB, please see the other video that I've done on how to do this. So you probably noticed that I put a timer under there. So it took the R6 49 seconds to transfer two JPEG files. Each one took in with L quality, so more or less 5 megas each. 50 seconds for 10 megabytes. If you are transferring RAWs, this will be nearly impossible. If you double click on an image, you can see it even larger. Now if we go back to the main menu, we can now go to remote shooting. The ES utility now opens a remote shooting window. And if you press the shutter button, you take a picture on your R6, so you're remote controlling it. One thing frustrating about this is after taking a picture, if you have it to automatically download to the Mac, you have this yellow bar here and you cannot do anything while the Mac is downloading the picture from the camera. So you cannot even change the settings. You have to wait until it downloads and then you can. You'll also see on this window that you have several settings that you can change like aperture, white balance, drive, metering mode, ISO. And another interesting function is the live shoot mode. 
If you press on it, a new window appears where you can see what the camera is seeing. You also have options to change the white balance, either to a picture that you already have, or using the eye droplet to a white area on your picture. Given I don't have none, it doesn't look very good. And beneath it, you also have this area to configure your autofocus settings. You also have a depth of field preview button, and on the bottom, you can have a luminance histogram or RGB. I hope you found this tutorial useful. There's plenty more coming on the channel, so feel free to subscribe.